What's up guys, Chumki here today having a look at the Disney minifigure set from LEGO. The set number is 71012. This is a set of collectible minifigures that was released in May 2016. And it's a slightly larger set with 18 minifigs rather than the usual 16. I have a complete and open set of the series which I'll be opening for you to see. Alright, let's get them open. First up we have Stitch from the 2002 Disney animated film Lilo and Stitch. Stitch was an alien that was adopted by a little Hawaiian girl named Lilo as her dog. Great head mold here for Stitch. The contrast of blue and pink definitely make his ears stand out. It would have been good if they gave him an accessory like his ray gun that he used in the movie. However, it doesn't really matter though because the Stitch minifig is awesome as itself. 
The squeeze toy aliens, or the little green men as they're fondly called, are supporting characters and mainstays in all of the Toy Story films. These little green men come with three eyes and that pointy antenna on top of their head. It comes dressed with their signature blue spacesuit, which has a purple belt and a collar to match. These are one of those minifigs that you wouldn't mind having more than one of. It'd be nice to make a big army collection of these guys because there's a lot of them in the movie. One of the poster boys for Toy Story is rightfully given a spot in this series. Up next, we have Buzz Lightyear. Buzz ends up taking the third spot of my top three. You know, the fact that he comes with so many parts makes the fact that he doesn't have an accessory okay. The chest plate that goes over his body is the piece that connects both the wings and his helmet to him. He just makes you want to pick him up and fly him around the room saying, To infinity and beyond! Coming from the popular Disney movie of 1992, Aladdin the Street Rat is up next. Aladdin comes with a fez hat on top of his rubbery hairpiece. His face print resembles that of a mischievous up to no good look, which is what he looked like at the start of the film. I love his purple vest and the fact that he comes with a lamp as an accessory. It would have been better though if he came with his pet monkey Abu, right? One of the best animated characters that the late Robin William played is the genie of the lamp. You know, I'm not a fan of how they made his head come in two pieces. It makes him look like he's wearing a helmet with giant ears. It would have been way better if the mold was just made to be one piece, I think. I mean, they've done it well with the other minifigures. Another thing I find weird is that he comes with a lamp as an accessory. Maybe it would have been better if, like I previously mentioned, that Aladdin came with a boo rather than the lamp, which would have justified the, the genie holding the lamp here. With regards to the base, I wish it was made of an almost transparent color, so that it looked like smoke coming out of the lamp. My favorite minifig of the set has to go to Maleficent. I love how she comes with a two-tone cape and collar. The rubbery horn helmet is spectacular and that yellow gem staff is a good accessory for her to have. It's great that she came with that skirt piece rather than just the regular minifigure legs. It would have been weird otherwise. Alice in Wonderland, one of the classic Disney characters, made her debut in 1951. She comes with two accessories, the famous Eat Me Cookie and the Drink Me Bottle. She comes with a skirt piece that goes in between her legs and torso, while her long blonde hair has a black headband with a bow on top. This is exactly how the Cheshire Cat looked in the animated movie Alice in Wonderland. I love how they captured his likeness spot on. His head mold comes with that popular Cheshire grin that Simon Cowell has also become well known for. He comes in two shades of pink that is painted in stripes all over his body and tail. Now between him and Alice, he definitely comes out on top. It's time to go real old school with the next four minifigs. First of the four is Daisy Duck. Daisy comes with a nice pink bow, which fits nicely in a peg-sized hole in her head. It's a good thing to have this, as it lets you swap certain pieces around if you wanted to. She isn't the most popular minifig of the set, but one that would definitely make the list of the collection. Donald Duck comes with his classic sailor suit and hat, and he debuted in 1934. You know, never the one to be caught wearing pants, Donald comes with a nice duck tail at his back. I love his head mold, and you know, it's okay if these classic characters don't come with any accessories, so as long as you get the head mold right. And they did exactly that with Donald. I have very fond memories watching him in the animated series DuckTales with Scrooge McDuck and his three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Minnie Mouse, the famous part of Mickey, comes with a pink outfit that sports polka dots on the bow and skirt. She normally comes dressed in red and white, however the pink color scheme works here. This is the same skirt piece that Alice was wearing, but I like it better on Minnie. I like how they painted eyelashes on her to give her more of a feminine look. Next up we have the company mascot and the face of Disney, Mickey Mouse. 
This guy made his debut in 1928, nearly 88 years ago. Mickey's painted in his iconic red and black color scheme. It's nice and simple, but very classic. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mr. Incredible comes from the 2004 movie The Incredibles. He is the husband to Elastic Girl and has three kids, Dash, Violet, and Jack-Jack. Now, I'm not a fan of his size as a minifigure because in the movies, he is a big burly man. It would have been way better if he came in one of those top-heavy body molds like the Hulk. I mean, even his head mold would have been way better if they copied that big elongated one they had in the movie. He comes dressed with his signature red and black costume with a letter I printed across the chest. His accessory appears to be one of those propaganda posters printed in a 2x2 tile. I think for me, the design of this minifigure didn't quite hit the mark. Where Mr. Incredible fell short, Syndrome is here to redeem. He comes with that nice giant letter S that spans his chest and pants. I think the flaming orange hair and facial expression is what stands out most here. He comes with a blueprint tile of his Omnidroid robot as an accessory. Maybe the other thing that would have been better for this minifig was for him to have the inside of his cape colored blue, just like his character in the movie. Peter Pan comes in his classic green outfit from the old 1953 animated cartoon. His head hair and hat come all as one piece. He comes with two gold daggers, although he's only ever seen using one. Good to have an extra one, I guess. Captain James Hook, who is portrayed the best by Dustin Hoffman in the 1991 movie, Hook is up next. This is one well-designed minifig. He comes with a large hat and it's got a nice long feather attached to it. Good outfit prints in the front and the back showing a sash going right around the body. I love his hook hand and the sword he comes with. He was a close choice to my top 3 of the set but since we have 18 minifigures rather than 16, I think he deserves a spot beside Buzz Lightyear. Which brings us now to my second favorite minifig of the set, Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Overall, I think this is one solid design. I absolutely love her tentacles. It's cool that her upper body slides down, to which also captures how big and overweight she is. She comes with a golden trident, which can also be seen with some Aquaman minifigs. I love her white hair and gray temples, as well as the print of her face. This is a pretty epic minifigure. The 18th and final minifig of the set is Ariel from the 1989 movie The Little Mermaid. She comes with nice flowing red hair just like the movie. The lower part of her body is the famous fishtail that all mermaids have. It's nice and flat in the bottom, so there is no issues to keep her upright. She has a nice pink gem and a clamshell as an accessory, but I would have probably liked it better if she had a dingle hopper instead. For those of you who aren't aware, a dingle hopper refers to the name Scuttle gave the fork, which was found from a sunken ship. Well, there you go, a look at the Disney minifigure set from LEGO. This is a spectacular set and is a must include in your minifig collection. So much classic childhood characters and fond memories of them. I hope LEGO continue to make other sets with other Disney characters in the future. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know who your favorite minifigs of the set are. Feel free to leave comments below and thanks for watching.